All right, here we go. So we got another big day. We got some questions for the audience out here today before we get out of here. One, we're going to discuss LibraCoin launching in just one month. Then we're going to get into the current price and what we may be looking to in the short term. And then we're going to talk about a whole bunch of things that have massive implications about where price can go that I believe we all want it to go. Let's roll that beautiful intro and we'll get into this. This is Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Subscribe for new content notifications. Now here's Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show, everybody. You can follow me on Twitter at Backup Bradley Above at the top of the screen and everything that we're talking about here today. So today we're going to start with this soft piece right here, but it really has a lot of weight to it because it comes from on quest to know, and he really is responding to uh, a person from Grayscale Investment Group, which is Michael Sonishan, I believe it is, and it's the managing director from Grayscale, and he's just asking here, you know, because uh, he was at he was or tweeting about being on Squawk at CNBC tomorrow morning, which I think is this morning. And uh, are you going to mention XRP outperforming Bitcoin rally for this month and this year? And then on quest to know puts the numbers up, put the numbers up, put the numbers up. There's the numbers right there. Yeah. Mm hmm. So shout out to Quest to Know. And, you know, it, when I see uh, lamestream media not covering XRP or avoiding it, and this is in mass. This isn't just one particular news affiliate organization or what have you. This is in mass across the board. They don't cover XRP. There has to be a larger reason for it. It cannot be coincidence at my house. That's for sure. So that's why I always say I believe, you know, XRP is not just another digital asset in this space, but is going to be a digital asset that is a part of the framework of this entire digital asset space. Don't believe it. It's still true. Looking at Swiss digital asset bank Signum, launches blockchain alternative to stock exchanges. It will bring investors access to tokenized assets with targeted markets being venture capital, mid cap companies, real estate, art, and collectibles. Now, this is a beautiful snapshot of where we're going. It's not just about digital assets and making money off of them and having them go up in value. It's really about an entire new way of transferring value and expressing that value in the digital realm. And that's where we're headed here. And when I see this, this is the, you know, can't put the genie back in the bottle, the toothpaste is out of the tube, all of those things that everybody says. And it's absolutely accurate. And I couldn't be more excited because this is going to mean forevermore, the transformation is complete. And that's where we're headed here. I also think about Sologenic, right? And the ability that they're going to launch 40,000 plus stocks, ETFs, commodities, and things of that nature off of the XRP ledger for their uh, business platform, Sologenic. So this is where we're going, and it's pretty damn exciting. And then we think about just a month from now, what we're looking at here is we're looking at Facebook Libra could launch as early as January, which is a month. And that's exciting because they said they're going to launch a single coin backed one for one by the dollar. Well, that makes more sense. But here's a question I have for audience members. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like ultimately this is going to tie into the XRP ledger. I really do, because what we're talking about is a stable coin. We just had Brian Brooks issue the letter that says it is okay for federally chartered banks to hold reserves for issue, issue you know, or for st stable coin issuers. And to me, this lines up perfectly with this whole idea of launching a stable coin as Libra on Facebook. And when you think of this, I've been asking the question, what does it run on? 
Well, when I drill down into the white paper, the white paper says, you know, it is uh, a preview of Libra Testnet is available under Apache 2.0 open source license. So Apache is tied into this, right? And loosely, we are connected indirectly here. Now, there may be a more direct connection. My question to the audience, all of you out here, is if you have any information of a more direct connection to Apache, put it in the comments. Tell me about it. We're going to figure it out. Tag me on Twitter, whatever it is. Because, you know, when I look at Apache site, and I come to Apache site, you can see I'm on the Apache site right here. And when I go down into here, I haven't had a chance to look through all of this. Obviously, this is massive. But just as an example, you know, there's Kafka, Apache Kafka, right? So more than 80% of all 100 Fortune companies are on this. And when, you know, you scroll down into this... Um, uh, Kafka, right? What I get to here is, here we go. So when I come down into this Apache Kafka blockchain comparison and a Kafka native implementation, so this is a project launched from Apache, right? As many projects are. It does show here that, this, uh, you know, the architects behind event streaming Apache Kafka, um, and it's about event streaming, distributed ledger technology and blockchain, a comparison, different technologies such as Confluent, AI blockchain, Hyperledger, Ethereum, Ripple, IOTA, Libra explores when to use Kafka, a Kafka native blockchain, dedicated blockchain, or Kafka in conjunction with another blockchain. It sounds like a security interface kind of thing. So when I look here, I clearly see Ripple right here with Kafka, Apache Kafka. So now they're talking about Apache 2.0. I'm reaching out right now to Mickey B. Fresh to see if we can get him because I think he's going to be a great source about finding that out and, and answering that question and see what if the connection runs any deeper. Because I do believe ultimately that there is no other network out here that has worked as hard or as tirelessly to work with the regulators and the other companies of the world to be able to build the market infrastructure and have the compliance already built in for KYC. AML and all of that stuff, which I understand is in this Kafka, Apache, Apache Kafka as well. But again, I'm not suggesting that Apache Kafka is directly going to be launched for Libra, but they do mention Libra here, right? They do mention Libra and Ripple in the same breath right here. So uh, it explores when to use these things and such as Confluent. And it talks about working between all of these different things like Ripple, Iota and Libra. OK, so um, there there is some kind of indirect connection there. And I think it's much, much deeper even that it, you know, the stable coin will run on the ledger because we know that Brad Garlinghouse said that central banks are looking at issuing their central bank digital currencies on the XRP ledger. I can't, for the life of me, see outside of why central banks would choose the XRP ledger, but Facebook would choose something else. I don't know. I'm having trouble seeing it. But if anybody can contribute to it, it'll be greatly appreciated. So now let's look at something that's really fun to look at when it's not 20 some cents. It's Ripple's price. <laughs> Shout out to Michael Val Five Lanks Four Thirty Two Bond Crypt XRP Crypto Wolf Jesus Tejero and and Peter Vass. I appreciate each and every one of you. But looking at this, they're calling for a fresh increase above sixty five cents. Seems likely right now. The current price we are looking at is sixty one cents. It was sixty two cents just a second ago, floating back and forth here. So we need to watch this today and to see if we get up above that sixty five cents mark and. If we do, how hard do we push? What's the volume looking like? Right now, we're looking pretty, you know, uh, steady, but it's not jumping off. You can tell when you're on Fiat Link and this thing's going ballistic. There's no question about it. But let's start to look at things now beyond just the price today. And you can see, ooh, 
Things are moving over in the Asian market now. That's really starting to get up. But now looking at this here, let's move to some larger narratives about this whole idea of central banks launching off of the XRP ledger. UAE Saudi central banks start work on a shared digital currency. Now we know that there's been enormous collaboration with UAE and the whole Middle Eastern region with Ripple. There's no question about that. So the idea that they are really looking at getting this up and rolling with a shared digital currency is very exciting because we are moving to a place that is looking like this chart here that we've talked about many times before. This happened to be on zero hedge, but we've pulled the PDF, the actual PDF files in past months, you know, and looked at this exact document from uh, from SWIFT. And looking at this, we see ISO 2022 for cross-border payment specifications go live in November 21, right? And that is in a year from right basically now, right? So, and we're looking at a four-year coexistence phase with Swift Central Translation Service between 22 and 25, which pretty much tells you this is the year of every last person on the planet is getting connected to this that is applicable to connect to the networks, right? And you can see here all of these things that are rolling through Europe, UK, US, right? And the timelines. Now, some of these timelines are maybe loose because of the pandemic and the interruption of that and the deliberate shutdown of the economy. The one thing I find fascinating is I don't personally subscribe to that, even though Swift has said that, because during this pandemic and a deliberate shutdown of the economy, we have seen a company like Ripple excel. Their entire company has accelerated, right? And it's because of what the design of the asset is for and what its intended use is. And when you think about how it could excel, but then somehow all of these networks somehow are delayed, I just, I don't buy it. So it's a head on a swivel moment. I think it's good that we look at these things, right? But I think it's even better that we be prepared for anything to take place because we know not long ago, Ripple was also brought on, this is from their website, Ripple website, as uh, the new de facto global data standard for modern payments, the ISO 2022 network. Ripple was brought on to the standards and body committee to help implement and go to the next global interoperable step of implementing distributed ledger technology. They are the first member focused on that, on that committee. So you have to understand that they're accelerating and what their demand is, but somehow they are the heart of distributed ledger technology for all of what you see here that is ISO 2022, but somehow they're delayed, but they're speeding up. Some don't line up, you know what I mean? Uh, FX coin is going to start a demonstration experiment using XRP for settlement of claims, debts, and liabilities between uh, Sumitomo Corporation and SBI Group companies. XRP will also be tested to reduce the risk of price volatility for digital currencies. It sounds like the actual intended use of XRP is about to accelerate, ladies and gentlemen. SBI, a partner to Ripple. SBI, a partner and part owner of R3, is telling you right here that they have a 50-60 bank consortium and they're going to start working between Sumitomo, or Sumitomo Corporation and SBI to get this thing going. They just told us a week or two ago that uh, SBI Group was going to start testing uh, XRP for a bridge currency settlement in the $6.6 trillion FX market. And I think we're getting signs of that here as well as payments, right? Because that's what we're also seeing here is the payment sector as well. So here you see FX coins, another one from Bond Crypt, just reinforcing it, saying it both ways here. Proof of concept between companies of the Somitumo uh, Corporation Group, which will use XRP to settle debts and credits. 
There you have it. And this is in the banking world, right? This is we're getting. I mean, if it's not obvious now that we're getting ready to see a enormous rollout, it is imminent, right? I mean, if you're not feeling that right now, I don't know if you ever will. Because to me, it is quite obvious that this is about to be way bigger than this crypto space has even been for the entire existence of this space. Because what we're talking about here is billions and then trillions of dollars, depending on whether we're just talking about settling debts and credits or whether we're talking about settling the FX market, which they said they're about to test. So it's great to see this thing at 62 cents, and I'm very excited about it. I'm loving it. I absolutely love it. I love being up, you know, a hundred and some percent and 40 some percent on a seven day right now. But I'll tell you what, I'm here for four or five digits. And I don't know about you, but the last bit of information we just looked at between ISO 2022, SWIFT, and all the different payment networks, and the idea that SBI is about to test this thing with another bank, knowing they have a 50-60 bank consortium, and they're about to start testing for settlement of debt, it's debt, or debt and credits, and then we're about to see it tested also in the FX market as well. Oh, oh, oh. This is getting good. I think we're going to have a bicycle Christmas. That's what I think. Hit that like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Make sure you share with somebody you know. And I have amazing news for you today. Unstoppable Domains. One day sale. Buy one dot crypto and get another one free. That is remarkable. I'm telling you right now, it's one day. If you've got any ideas and you know I help promote you guys, I will definitely shout you out and grab your names if they're really great names and put them on the show and try to get your attention. But don't sleep on that. Dot Cryptos, Unstoppable Domains, one day sale. And there's a lot of other really great Black Friday sales in there too. Uh, Pure VPN, 80, 88% off. 40% uh, off Ledger Nanos right now. And then we have a three-month special from Clinton Donnelly as well. Really remarkable stuff going out there for you guys, so make sure you check it out. I'll catch all of you on the next one.